Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your own speed test Docker server so you can monitor your speed tests, both upload and download all day long without having to go use third-party sites to do it. After your server has collected some data over the course of a few hours, your server or your, your dashboard may look something very, very similar to this. It's super easy to set up. So let's go ahead and jump into Docker and Portainer and see how to get this set up. Okay guys, so this is the Docker Compose file that we're gonna use to get uh, this uh, server set up. Now there are just a couple of things that you'll want to change. Uh, so what I'm actually gonna do is copy this, like so, and then I'll go over to, uh, to my Docker, or to, sorry, to my Portainer, and I'll go into Stacks. Then we're gonna click on Add a Stack, and I'm just gonna paste this in here. Now there are only a couple of things you really need to change here. Uh, and basically we've got volumes that we need to change. Um, and then in my opinion, this test interval of 30 seconds uh, is way too short. So uh, what we're gonna do uh, actually first is go over to uh, Open Media Vault where we're gonna grab the folder or the absolute path for the folder where our configuration uh, files go. So I'm just gonna drag this up here like so, and I'm just gonna copy this and I'll go back to Portainer here and I'm just going to paste this in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to append that with uh, speed, oops, speed test like so. Now the influx admin, uh, user, password and database, you can change these if you want. Just know that if you do that, you will have to change other things later on. So we're not going to do that for right now. We can just leave this as it is. Uh, the next thing that you'll want to change again, like I mentioned, is this uh, test interval. This is in seconds, and I really think that 30 seconds is uh, is way too short of a time to test that interval. So what I like to do is change this to like 180, um, or let's um, let's actually make that 300. Uh, so that'll be a five minute interval. This will check every five minutes for our um, for our speed test. It'll check both upload and download speeds there. Uh, so once we've got all of that, that's really all we have to change in here. Uh, then we can just, oops, we need to give it a name. I, I did forget to do that. So we'll just call this uh, speed test, like so. We'll scroll down and click on deploy the stack. Okay, so now that that is deployed, we can come over here to speed test. Uh, we can see that everything here is running. We can also see over here that it's running on port 3000. So let's go ahead and take a look at the logs here. It uh, looks like everything here is okay. So let's go over to uh, our server address and type in 3000. And here you can see we've got a dot. Uh, that is the first data point for our server. And right now I've got 317 megs down and it uh, looks like 11.77 megs up. So uh, like I said, this is going to update every five minutes uh, as far as how often it will do a speed test. Uh, so what you might want to do is actually drop this down initially to like 30 minutes and then uh, change our uh, refresh, how often this page or this screen will refresh to every five minutes. And then at this point, you can just let it sit every five minutes. It should run a speed test and about every five and a half minutes or so, uh, we should actually see some new data in here. So we'll come back here in about an hour and take a look at this and see what kind of data we're getting. Okay guys, so there's how to set up your own speed test server in Docker so that you can have this kind of run automatically in the background and keep track of what your internet service provider is doing as far as uh, maybe throttling your upload and download speeds, or maybe you'll notice different times of the day uh, that'll have better uploads and downloads than other times, uh, depending on usage in your area. So a pretty simple process, just have to change a couple of things in that original uh, Docker Compose file and you should be good to go. So I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. That would be really helpful to me if you enjoy these kinds of videos with uh, Docker and home server stuff, that kind of thing. Uh, definitely get subscribed. I've got all kinds of new videos coming out. Uh, thanks to uh, the suggestions from you guys, really. Uh, a lot of the videos I've made recently have been at the request of you guys, my viewers, and I really do appreciate that. So if you've got other ideas, definitely leave those in the description or in the comment section down below. Um, so I will have links to everything that I used uh, in this video in the description if you want to go check that out. Um, but I think that pretty much wraps everything up. Also in the description, there will be a couple of links uh, for ways that you can help uh, financially support the channel. One is something called coffee, which is like an online tip jar. The other is Patreon, which I'm sure you're all very familiar with at this point. Uh, I've got a couple of different levels of membership there. Uh, the $5 level will get you access to a patrons only discord server though. So if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff, definitely check out the description as well. Uh, but I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video. Video. 